Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Today being a brand new video and today's video is on Sivu. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support on the first mission. We got to like 2k views in one day, which is insane. So following on from the first level, this is the second mission called The Club. This level does take quite a lot of time to get used to. The weapons on this game are very, very uh, vital in terms of their locations. So you want to make sure when you're following my video that you're doing exactly what I'm doing. And there is times where I do drop a weapon so I can pick it up later on in the playthrough. It's actually kind of embarrassing that I struggled with the first security guard. So you can get your help back by just killing these two enemies here if you didn't kill them at the start. Once you open this door, you want to focus the guy across the counter. You want to make sure you put him towards the coat hangers and not the other way. Otherwise, you'll trap the two enemies closest to the door. Once you've killed this guy, there'll be two enemies next to the door. I highly recommend you not picking up the baseball bat. The reason why I'm telling you not to pick it up, it means you can get two more kills when you enter the next room. Because the next room is more of a harder battle. These two are not that hard. As long as they don't pick up the baseball bat, you should have an easy time killing these enemies. Or you can just do what I'm doing right now and just pick it up. So when you open the door, there is two people to your right. You can get two easy kills by running in between both of the players and you'll get the elimination prompt for both players straight away, making the battle a lot easier to start with. When you're in this room, there is actually two players that can go into a rage mode and that is the guy with the neon glasses with the mohawk and also the guy with the black uh, tank top in the corner of the room. So just be careful when you do fight those two players, I recommend you not using the elimination prompt otherwise you'll have to fight them again and it can be very very annoying. If you haven't started building it up, uh, I would highly recommend you build up your focus meter now when there's about three enemies left, allowing you to do the next stage a lot easier for yourself. Just so it makes it easier for yourself, I recommend you now using your focus so she doesn't do all this weird, crazy, like kung fu stuff. You want to bring her to the corner and you can just literally just kill her pretty easily. This fight is not that hard at all. Once you have killed this lady, you want to make sure you pick up the totem just here. And I did actually put it into more uh, weapon proficiency. already there should be a bottle on the floor here which you can use on one of these two enemies through the store now i recommend you not using the button prompt on this gray tank top dude or female whatever he is or she and you just want to make sure you focus the guy on your left do not use the prompt otherwise they will go into a rage mode as you enter the next room you can actually use the prompt straight away on this lady here unfortunately i did not get it which doesn't really matter, I still managed to get the kill with a prompt. And then there'll be four people who just ran down the stairs to fight you. Again, you do not want to use the prompt on the guy with the red tank top with this person here who just tried to hit me. Otherwise, you'll have to fight them in the elite mode again. If you do struggle in this area, there is a lot of bottles in the couch area just behind me.
So when you enter this room, there will be a person to your right that does not attack you. He's cleaning like some bottles so you can get some free health here. And there should be a bottle just on the ledge here, which you want to focus the guy in the red coat and you want to run straight at him and you'll get the prompt straight away, making this fight a lot easier to do. These two female characters next to this grey dude do not go into a rage mode so you can get the prompt fairly quickly on them. I do recommend with this guy not to use the prompt otherwise he might go into a rage mode which will make this area a little bit harder for you. So in this area here, you can actually just throw two bottles at him, but I do recommend you destroying the two, uh, I don't know what they're called, the, like, the grey like planks of wood to your left and right. So you can see here that I'm trying to fight him, which is giving me a little bit of a hard time. This guy does actually push me into the wall, and I do actually get the wooden plank here, and this should make the fight a lot easier if you put your abilities into weapon damage. Uh, when you do kill these, you do get a good, good amount of health, so you don't really have to worry. And then, yeah, there you go, got the prompt, and boom, he's dead straight away. So these two ladies in this room can be very, very difficult. So to make it a lot easier for yourself, you want to pick up the bottle to your left here, and you want to throw out this lady here washing the dishes, which will give you the prompt straight away. Now you want to go back over the bar table and you want to make sure to pick up the wooden plank and you just want to fight this lady here. If you're having a hard time like me, I do actually use my focus because I do not want to die. And there you go, you get the prompt. So over the bar table there is a baseball bat. This baseball bat is very very crucial in this game. You want to make sure you drop it as you enter the next room. I am actually looking around now to see if there's any collectibles, so don't worry about what I'm doing, just enter the next room. So as you open this door, you want to make sure you drop your weapon and focus these three enemies. They shouldn't really give you a hard time because they're not even looking at you. There you go. If you can, try and avoid them going into the arena, otherwise sometimes they do stay alive, making it a lot harder for you. Sometimes they do fall and you do get the uh, bonus score, meaning you know they've been killed. So now that you picked up your baseball bat, you kind of want to make sure you use the durability well. In terms of my fight scene, I did not use it properly. So I recommend you not using it on the big guy, otherwise your baseball bat will lose its durability. But also, the guy on the left here does give me a bit of a hard time and does go into a rage mode. So I do recommend you trying to kill these enemies without using the baseball bat. If you do have a hard time, don't worry. So there you go, you notice that I did actually get the rage mode on this guy, which is really, really annoying. And you can see that my baseball bat durability is really, really low, as you can see from the visual aspect of the weapon. I do get the prompt. And I do want to pick up the, pick up the baseball bat again. And if it's in a bit of a better state than mine, you can actually make this boss or semi-boss a lot easier for yourself. So if you actually enter this room and charge at him with your baseball bat, if it has more durability than mine, you can actually get the prompt off fairly easily and you don't have to struggle like my fight scene. You can see that my baseball bat got destroyed pretty much straight away. And that's mainly because of my last section of the game. If you're worried about dying, you can actually make a save to the cloud if you can on a semi-cheat, so I will make a video on that in the future. But if you just want to fight, you can just do what I'm doing right now. You want to go into this room, you want to fight the person to your left here, you should get the prompt straight away. And in the left corner of the room, which I didn't actually pick up, is a, uh, it should be like a crowbar. So if you do struggle with this area, I do recommend you picking it up and not fighting just like this. It should be next to the toe room if you do struggle.
once you've killed this enemy, I do actually make a save to the cloud, so that's why you see such a hard cut. So the reason why I made a save to the cloud before picking up the totem is because if you use the totem and put your abilities in and then make a save, you do not actually get your health back. So if you didn't know, the totems do actually give your health and that is the main reason why you see a hard cut before every time I pick up a totem. Before you enter the next fight scene, make sure to bring the crowbar with you just because it does more damage than the wooden plank, I think. So in this area there is a lot of enemies, you have enemies to your right and enemies to your left. You just want to make sure you, when you open the door straight away that you press square so you'll get the pump straight away and you should be able to kill these pretty quickly as well, mainly because the crowbar feels like it does more damage. And this is going back to what I said at the start of the video, you want to make sure you bring each weapon from each part of the area into the next section so it allows you it basically sets you up for success you can still see that i'm using the crowbar now and once you killed all these enemies you basically have all these wooden planks for the next area otherwise if you were in this area you would probably use all these weapons and you basically won't have anything for the next stage which can be really really annoying if you don't like you know dodging like i do as well You will then have to fight the lady at the top of the stairs so because of the crowbar it has now set you up very very nicely so what you want to do is use these two bricks straight away and then throw it again and now if you run down the stairs you can now throw a lot of these weapons at her making this scene so easy you can see here that i'm just throwing throwing press the circle and then you should get the prompt yeah see how easy was that so all these weapons just made it so, so, so much easier. And as you walk through this door, again, I have brought a weapon with me, just in case. Straight away, I use this weapon to use a stun, and then I pick up the bamboo stick on the floor, and I just then use focus, which I didn't use in the last room, mainly because I used all the other wooden planks to pretty much do all the damage and you can see from the health already she is so low and um, yeah that's pretty much it and then you want to make sure you bring a bamboo stick with you into the next area because the next area is very very crucial as well to have a bamboo stick with you mainly because these two enemies are like elites and it can be very very frustrating This part will cause a lot of people a lot of issues so make sure you do have a weapon with you. If you do not have one with you right now you can actually go into the right corner right at the back and there is a wooden plank there as well. So don't worry if you don't have a bamboo stick if you've lost it or if you know you've made a backup save and you don't have it then you can go into the right corner and pick one up. But if you've got one like me you should be able to kill these quickly again. And be because I didn't use my focus, you can use it there, sets you up for success. And now that I'm kind of trying to dodge, their weapon should be in the corner here. And because my weapon has three stacks of bonus damage, you should be able to kill this guy quickly.
in this boss area i think i'm one of the only few people to use this technique i don't really see many people do it so first of all i use focus reserve so i've now got two stacks meaning my focus reserve has also gone back to full amount straight away you will also get your health back i did actually unlock weapon mastery and i also unlocked uh, like the sweep so just slow down that part if you need to and what i do here is i make sure i dodge the ability and then because i've used the uh, focus reserve i put them down and now what i do here is i actually use all the like sticks and just keep throwing them and look at his health his health is actually going down so so much you can see from the screen that i've not actually taken any damage yet which is just crazy for this scene you can see here i'm just keep throwing these unfortunately they did not land but i do recommend you keeping one of the bamboo sticks or spears just because when you go into the next scene you want to bring it with you but when you do bring it with you you want to make sure you drop the weapon so you can use it for the second stage or the second phase so for this area this is pretty much just the same thing over again you just want to use r1 and then the analog stick down and you'll pretty much make most of the dodges you if you do not know how to kill an enemy when they're down you just hold circle but you can see here that i'm using these spears i'm just throwing and it does do a stun and also what you want to try and do for the second phase is build your focus meter to two bars if you do have to if you haven't again don't worry about it Again, you want to set yourself up so you want to actually drop your weapon. Do not throw it at him because it will do uh, damage to your, you know, spear. And then you want to do some sweeps. You do want to try and build up your focus meter. So if you can do the first phase of the second stage without him, you know, hitting you, then you should be fine. Unfortunately, in this playthrough, I do actually die once. But in terms of the trophy to stay under the age of 25, I am doing really, really well. I'd actually get to age 21. But if you do follow this video throughout, you should actually make it to age 20. Sorry for the hard cut here. Unfortunately, my Algo decided to freeze again. Not sure why. So you can see here that his health is really, really low. It's currently lower than mine, but unfortunately I did throw and I didn't actually dodge. So I actually do go to age 21, but in terms of 
the actual playthrough you should be fine at doing this at age 20 so yeah you get the premise i'm just going to skip it a little bit until i finish him off unfortunately my triangle and circle prompt was right at the end of the fight scene which is really really annoying otherwise i would have made it to age 20 but in terms of the actual gameplay hopefully this helps you out and don't forget to leave a like and a comment and again thank you for the last video i really really appreciate it peace out guys